Helen's investigation leads her to the parents of missing children from decades before, including Frank, a man whose daughter went missing in the 1980s, and claims to be an old acquaintance of Helen's father, when she then tracks down a retired police detective who believes the child abductions were the work of a serial killer known only as Sackhead, Helen begins to suspect that her father may have lived a double life as a child murderer. Then she goes to their old family house. As her suspicions seem validated by the discovery of multiple graves at her old family home, Helen fears she is paying for her father's sins. Helen meets with Father Monroe for guidance. She wants to know if she has to suffer the pain of her father's sin and will her daughter have the same fate as her. Father Monroe says that her father has come to him in confession for forgiveness. Helen goes home and calls Stuart, tells him how can she talk to her father. Helen try to do what Stuart told her, after some time she sees her father's ghost going to where he suicided. Helen wants to talk to him but he does the same thing again and again. Then she sees a photo of her and Frank in her childhood. Helen goes to Frank to know the answers. Then we see Helen's husband Greg comes to meet with her but suddenly someone attacks him and cuts his throat, then takes Heidi. After some time retired police detective Burroughs came and finds Greg dead. Helen arrives to Frank's house and gets to know all the truth. Robart was not her father, Frank was her real father and Frank is also the serial killer who kidnapped and killed the children's. Helen asks where is Heidi but Frank didn't answer her. Frank goes out of the house then shockingly retired detective Burroughs shoots Frank in the head. After some days we see Helen was also about to attempt suicide. That's how the story ends. Subscribe to my channel for